Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here to talk about Google AMP today. So uh, what is AMP? AMP, AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. This is uh, Google's Google's own mechanism, their own protocol uh, to march a few steps further towards uh, digital world domination. So um, let's cover what it is. So I'm gonna op I've got some pages open already and Oh, okay. I've already I've already got this page open. So here are the promises. Uh, great web experiences. Uh, what it is in action. Here are the benefits. So these are the the main benefits. That your web page, your page speed, your page load speed improves. It's much faster across all devices and platforms. That's really important because mobile page loads are usually pretty slow. Uh, it makes building the pages easy and reduces developer overhead. So the idea is that you can build mobile friendly pages without as much like CSS and special coding to make things style and, and look right. Uh, and then AMP can be applied across various web points, uh, touch points. So this is uh, again, just so that AMP, uh, your website can be shown throughout different, different web services and apps and still look pretty and look nice and, and easy to click around, easy to, to function with. And then over here, the developer benefits like, again, reducing complexity in your code, you know, less code work to style it, building blocks and ensure performance. Again, less code and less work to try to make it load fast because with AMP, it loads through like the AMP engine, right? The AMP, the AMP uh, rendering web page rendering engine. And then here it is, build a sustainable future for the web for everyone. It's open source. Okay, uh, that's a bunch of crap. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand that part. So, uh, and then here, a few more, make your pages discoverable and all that. So uh, what does it mean? <laughs> so what does all this mean to the regular user? What is all this is? So this is Google's promise. It is a web-based component framework that you can use easily to create user-first websites, stories, emails, and ads. So I'm gonna just correct that. I'm gonna correct that whole line and I'm gonna say, it's so that you can easily create Google first websites, stories, emails, and ads. So what AMP is, AMP is a uh, framework that you install to your website. You can install it on your WordPress or whatever other CMS system that you use, you install AMP onto your website. And then what does it do? What are the advantages? The, the number one advantage for many people was that when you, when you visit your site on a mobile device, it shows like the AMP version of your site. So what is the AMP version of the site? I, you know, I tried digging for an example. I couldn't find it. What it, it, it looks like this. It's like Google's framework takes over and it looks like a very like uniform, like just kind of, kind of bland, like kind of a generic styling. So it makes your website styling generic. You may like this if your, you know, theme is ugly, doesn't look nice, or if your theme is so like bloated and it loads so slow, you might go, you know what, Google AMP like really speeds up my site. It makes it run faster. So you may like that. The other thing that people use uh, Google AMP for is the belief. Oh, here you go. Here, I'm sorry, here's some designs. So, so it turns your site into this kind of generic look, right? Easy to click. You know, and I'm sure you've seen many sites on like on Facebook or on mobile where they have this kind of generic look. It's a you know title, some little description, and then a little thumbnail. Title, description, thumbnail, and then you click through and 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 it just goes very fast, right? Yeah, so this is this is kind of like the AMP, AMP version, AMP friendly. Again, very generic, and it kind of turns all sites into this generic look. So uh, the other thing is that people feel like you need to have Google AMP in order to be shown and featured on top stories, like in Google search. So they believe that it hurts, uh, I mean, sorry, that it helps your search engine rankings, that it helps your, uh, your, your, your posts get distributed out in the web by Google. So is there truth to it? Maybe a little bit. I don't think it's enough. I, I don't think they really do that much. Uh, and then anything about Google helping your ads or your leads and your click-through rates. So I, I found some sites that I agreed with. This is a little bit of confirmation bias here. You know, they felt that Google Google ads, I mean, Google AMP did not really help their, their placements, didn't really help their conversions. 
really didn't help their traffic, uh, wasn't worth keeping. Google AMP can go to hell. There are other people who feel like the Google AMP project is too much of a, uh, it's not a community service. It is Google's way of putting their, their fingers on everything, right? Because now you're installing their framework on your site. So now they own even more of your content. They have even more control to shove ads or, or push it around however way they want for their own use. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, push, push, <laughs> dance, dance for Google. Absolute power, they're controlling everything. It's true. They, they have way too much control. Uh, and then why it's bad for your site, disappearing links, less analytics, more work, less control of your content and design. Harder to spot fake news control. Uh, okay, and again, the anti-Google control thing. So uh, I've, I, will say, I will say from this point of view, as just from a user point of view, I highly do not recommend AMP. I think if you want your web page to load faster, you can do it in another way. You don't need AMP to do it. Get a clean theme, get a cache plugin. Uh, don't use so many plugins, right? Because that's what AMP does. It just chops out a lot of code. So, I mean, just don't use plugins and so many plugins and you're fine. Um, the other thing, do you need AMP to like rank high in Google search and, and get hits to your site? No, no, you don't. I'm doing fine without it. And I've got tons of clients that are totally fine without it. So you, you, you really don't need that. And then the other thing is the design aspect of it. I really don't like AMP because a lot of how your, your brand interacts with users is through the design. And the moment you chop out the design, you chop out the uniqueness of your design and, and your site could be ugly, by the way, it could be ugly, but even the ugliness is part of its brand. People recognize it's like, it's quirkiness. And the moment you turn it to this kind of stuff right here, you just look like any other website that I scroll through on Facebook and you just look like every other generic site out there. I just don't think it's good for your branding. Uh, but overall, um, I don't recommend it. Oh, and here's one more thing. The crazy thing is Google AMP causes all kinds of compatibility issues and can sometimes have adverse or negative effect, uh, negative effects on your page load. It can break functions and features. Uh, obviously, it will because it's taken. It's a, a new framework that might be compatible, that might not be compatible with your existing plugins and functions. So you know, it breaks the design. It can break the function. I don't think it helps your SEO. Uh, you can do speed in another way. And again, I think it gives Google too much power and control. So I big no on Google AMP for me. Thanks for watching.